Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and we have drama apparently around this Hearthstone 10 year anniversary event. There are some really unhappy people and we're gonna talk about it get my take on it do i think it's it's terrible or whatever uh we'll go into exactly what's going on there's also an update on the botting situation in hearthstone um vicious syndicates kind of reported on like it has not been getting better it's been getting well worse lately we'll talk about that as well as a shop update full-on preview of uh there's two new portraits in the shop as well as some returning stuff and some like egregiously overpriced bundles we'll talk about all that stuff and we have our giveaway going on um, out of my pocket for three mega bundles two regular pre-orders out of my pocket to enter that giveaway like and comment in the video link to the description below it's the one with that thumbnail right there be subscribed to the channel and every thousand subs we get until all the cards are revealed uh whiz bang workshop cards are revealed i will add another mega bundle so hit that sub button make me go broke so if you're not aware this went live yesterday uh the hearthstone 10 year anniversary event um you have to like basically earn like 5,000 xp worth of stuff what you get uh on this event are the gifts that we got like two weeks ago right um every class got one so i believe there's 11 total and you get the golden versions of them and then the final reward is a 10 year anniversary coin i've already seen comments why could it be a golden coin all the coins are not golden unless your full your whole deck is golden that's how it always works yeah, um so if you have all the gold cards in your deck then the card card automatically turns golden so i saw this i didn't think that was a big deal of it i'm like we already got 12 free cards right we got hearthstone brew but Har oh, the hearthstone subreddit all over this it had really disappointed by the 10 year anniversary rewards thread here it's like 1300 upvotes in 19 uh in 19 hours like very very upvoted um could have given golden hearth but okay uh they've already said in an faq that's gonna be in the shop for money that i think is something kind of crappy and worth complaining about honestly um that that'll be coming soon and the diamond version also will be behind a paywall it is behind a paywall they've already confirmed that in an faq which i'm not looking forward to that i think that's really against the spirit of the event um but yeah there's a lot of comments in regards to this event i didn't need all the rewards to be great but this is hilariously bad i don't know what i was expecting but these being the rewards for the event that celebrates a decade of the game seems underwhelming to say the least and there's a lot of comments like that and i think there's a lot of confusion and just not a great way that blizzard has presented this i guess because this isn't the only event to celebrate 10 year anniversary of hearthstone like it says hearthstone's 10 year anniversary right the event but two weeks ago we got 11 free cards the gifts of which quite a bit are, are quite a few are good the the priest one in particular anduin's gift uh uh inner fire priest is like tier one in the format now because of this and uh garrosh's gift is really good in warrior and i think a lot of these will see play over time and hearthstone brew is just one of the coolest most awesome legendary cards ever and people have hit rank one playing that in like thief rogue it, it's not a terrifically bad card it's super fun People seem to think that this is like the only event going on. Um, but as stated uh, down below, I, I don't think it got downvoted too hard, but Ridiculous Hat, who again, doesn't even need to do this, but he does this, uh, did chime in here saying, hey all, just checking in here to indicate that we are monitoring this thread and the general reaction to the track. while well, we have more stuff coming for the anniversary as indicated on the article, including 10 drops for Community Day on March 11th, which, by the way, they're gonna be really good drops. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it and it might be more than just your usual packs. Let's just put it that way. I'm like, I'm excited for when that stuff is announced. Um, please be aware that we're passing uh, your reactions about this track feels to the rest of the team. Thanks for the feedback. And uh, basically, yeah, we'll plug the crap out of that event when it comes March 11th. I'll have a video right before it goes live to make sure you do not miss out on that stuff. But it's just like, this is all part of an event, right? Like this is not the only thing. And when the expansion goes live, Wizbang's Workshop, you know there's going to be an event with that. They're gonna have the new catch-up packs that have already been data mined. We know there's more catch-up packs coming that will have um the last three sets in there for new players it's i think it's just the way it's framed right like it's just this one it looks like oh this is the only event this is all we're getting for a 10-year anniversary or just some golden cards but 
It's really, we got 12 free cards already. We're getting golden stuff on top of that. There's gonna be more stuff coming. For me, I don't see this as being egregious or blizzard greed. When I started playing, we got nothing. We got a card back for the end of the season and that was it. And 10 gold for what? I think it was three wins or something like that. It was atrocious and it's so much better now. But yeah, would it be a better if they threw like a, a portrait on here or a pack or something? I think so, but I, I don't think it's something to really lose our minds over and be upset about when Hearthstone Brew is sold golden for like $50 or something or the Diamond Ones bundle with it, then yeah, I'm gonna be mad about that. I'm gonna talk about that because I think that's kind of lame even though it is just cosmetics, but I just see like, is this an out of uh, season April Fool's joke? This can't be right. And then uh, people's expectations. I just think the communication of it is kind of poor. People are thinking this is the only thing for the 10 year when it already hasn't been. And there's a lot more good stuff coming. So I just want to throw that out there. I don't think, you know, the outrage or people getting really upset about it. I mean, it's fine to communicate that it's valid. I just don't think it's as bad as some people are letting on. So, and I enjoy the shinies, right? I do enjoy the shinies, but again, it's nothing you can disenchant. There's no dust value in all of it. I understand that, but just throwing my take out there for what it is. This is the update on the botting situation of Hearthstone, which has been like going on really badly for over a year since the Chinese servers got shut down. It's just blown up over here. And uh, Zach, who writes for the Vicious Syndicate Report, he has access to a lot of data, said the bot situation of Hearthstone is at DEF CON 3. Both Asia and America servers are swarmed with bots at equal severity. That means before it was just the APAC server. Now it's also the Americas. Um, that That's not a good thing. And that's after that last mass ban wave, right? Uh, the ban wave that occurred a couple of weeks ago made genuine impact in Wild. I will say I face a lot less bots in Wild myself and I'm at really low MMR because of achievement hunting and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll agree with that. But we need to up the frequency and the scale of bans if we want to deal with this. I implore Team 5 to heavily prioritize this, do whatever is necessary to have mass ban waves on a weekly basis. This endangering the viability of the game. People at low MMRs queue into a horde of bots and lose interest. This can't fester and be a permanent stain on ladder. And you can see this is kind of trickling through. Um, on the Americas, there is 27,000 legends this season, which is kind of jarring, kind of crazy, uh, considering this is not an expansion month. Last season, um, it ended around about the same. But if you look at this season compared to EU, which EU always has more legends than the Americas, it's not true. It's actually quite a bit more in the Americas, which does seem to indicate numbers are inflated. And then yeah, APAC is horrendous. There's almost 120,000 legends, which is just just crazy. Like that's just not a reality. Um, it, last season, it was around 165,000. So the botting problem seems to be uh, really, really prevalent. Whenever I go through the Hearthstone subreddit, it is amplifying how many times they talk about bots people talking about bot with team five and bots lots of bots lately in standard uh returning player here is there a lot of bot is there a bot problem almost everyone i play seems to be a bot or something and it just goes on and on and on like it's just a constant thing i see it in my comments and yeah, if you're thinking, you're noticing with the band wave, it still seems to be bad. Yes, it's really bad. And Blizzard needs to do another one of these mass band waves, like stat and keep doing them because it's just, it's just, it's gonna be a war. They're fighting these people. They're changing the way they do things. And you can't just sit on, you know, sit around. You gotta go at them. So I do hope team five does that. And lastly, we have the shop update. You'll note there's even more signature card offerings, which you can have four signatures in 20 packs for the low, low price of like, what, $200 USD? Like, <laughs> it's insane. They're literally charging basically uh, 50 USD for a signature card in five packs. And the five packs are worth what, like six, $7? Let's say it's $10 max, it's not worth that much, but that's still like $40 for one signature card. Like if people are buying that, that's crazy to me, but um, they sure really value that. So if you really want, like signature risk is a really nice card, but for that much money, I just, that, that is insane even to me who has wailed out pretty hard, but that is there if you're interested, but there are some new hero skins in the shop. We have the anniversary Malfurion bundle. He's looking kind of troll. Uh, costs $10 USD, 1250 Canadian, thousand rune stones, comes with five druid packs, and he sounds and looks like this. Malfurion versus Malfurion. 
I must protect the wild. My time has yet to come. This party is wild. You are naturally gifted. You've done me a kindness. How is that possible? There will surely be another chance. Watch yourself. No party crashers. Sorry about that. I can see. So that one is available in the shop as well as anniversary Gul'dan bundle. Same deal, a uh, thousand runestones, $10 USD, 1250 Canadian, comes with five warlock packs and he sounds and looks like this. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. I don't have time for celebrations. Would you like something to drink? You played your part well. A token of my appreciation. This cannot be. That went awry. I am not in the mood for this. Disappear! Sorry. You win this time. So again, those portraits are available in the shop right now if you are interested. I believe there's a couple of returning portraits as well. I'll put screenshots of what those are. Um, I don't have it on my this current account or whatever. And you guys can determine if you want to pick those up. And uh, yeah, stay tuned later today. Got like two more card review videos coming. So keep on enjoying that. And we'll post the news if there's anything else to have um, to at least let you guys know about. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends. Thank you.